DIY uh, glass cleaner attempt number one. I've got these little magnets, you get a bunch of them off uh, Amazon, eBay, whatever. Uh, neodymium magnets, very strong, very good. And I've just super glued them into this tray. You get uh, it's like a sewing kit, or you sometimes get these in boxes of crackers. So I've cut this box in half. <clears throat> I can't even remember what this had in it. Dot of super glue in every other one in a zigzag. Put the neodymium magnet on the dot of super glue and then put another magnet underneath. And that should pull the magnet down into the super glue nice and tight. Should make it set really strong. If it sticks to this particular plastic, which it might not. Then after that I'm going to turn this upside down. And then in that one I'm going to put those magnets the same way up as they are. Uh, with a bit of super glue and place it thus so that should hold the super glue against the magnet and the plastic really tight that way so in the end I'll have that which I can put on the outside and this will follow it on the inside uh, I know this is uh, CA glue M might have on yeah well, everything's smaller in the UK isn't it? in the United States they get like two pint bottles of this probably for half the money what do we get? 50 grams. But it's good stuff, and I know it won't kill the fish because you stick moss and stuff onto branches and stuff using CA glue. So, jobs are good and so far, I'll let you know. I don't need to wait for the other stuff to set, I can just do this now. I'll just put a lot of glue on each bit. Marvellous. I should just be able to drop that <laughs> onto each one. It'll chuck it in the right place for me. Look at that. Easy peasy. That'll, the, these magnets are brilliant. Look, I mean, <laughs> I, love, I love how they have endless fun with them on your desk. And you, it'll find a bit of metal on your desk as well. But uh, <laughs> if you roll it like it'll find metal in the desk. Or a screw or something. <clears throat> really are really good. I'm not doing a very good job of filming that one. Oh no, don't pull it across. I don't want you to do that. No ah, you Whew. <clears throat> stick them on there for now. So yeah, there's a second wee job. That's pretty good actually. I think that'll, I think that'll work. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's got more of a gap because oh, two magnets stuck to that one, didn't it? Oh no, it's inside. We're okay. Two magnets there, so it is just one gap all the way around. I've left them on just to make sure that these are oriented the right way. So it'll have all the north poles facing down or all the south poles facing down. One or the other. It doesn't really matter, does it? <clears throat> so, the start of great things. Put a bit of cloth or maybe a bit of scouring pad on one. Hold it on with I don't know, a zip tie or something. Maybe some Velcro. And uh, we'll be cooking on gas. So, update on that. It seems I've found one of them plastics that super glue isn't very good at sticking to. So that's rather annoying. I bet I can push this off with magnet, I can. So, back to the drawing board. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, not, not very sticky with super glue. Great for sticking fingers, but not this particular plastic. It will not. Uh, Set, dry, cure, whatever, cure, yeah. So yeah, it's just it remains liquid on that, but uh, on the fingers it's fine. So I want to, <laughs> ah, bollocks, mm. ah, bastards. So try and get as much of this out as possible. Trick is to do it quickly. Yeah. 
Not good. Okay, epoxy resin next, see if that works. I've decided to go for the old epoxy resin. <clears throat> so these, in little squares, I've managed to just, just about fill each one. Same malarkey, I'll hold it up so now. I've got the magnets the other side. And, uh, and I checked that they're all the right way up by doing a, a push test. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just about another epoxy all over me. Strong magnets, very strong. Uh, so they're all the same way up. Problem with this epoxy, it's, it's good stuff, but you can't. This cap doesn't go back on. It's, it, there's no way of doing it. And it doesn't matter which way around it goes either. So you could just be sticking it on. So the best thing is just to not bother. Just leave it standing up. Uh, but yeah, other than that, good epoxy. I think that'll do the trick. Um, that's half of it. I'm not going to turn it over because all this epoxy will just run out all over the place. So I shall do the rest in about 20 minutes when this is cured. I've just done the other side and what I want to do is sort of pour it round so that it goes and sticks over the top of all the magnets. I don't know if you can see this very well or not. Yeah it's quite gloopy stuff till it says it's good stuff. I'm gonna get that into that corner there because oh yep it's buried and then it'll sort of be self-leveling but that's got the best chance of sticking all of them in nicely and uh, I have faith in this one. The super glue I thought would work, but I wasn't expecting it to not stick to that plastic at all. But there you go, not all plastics stick with all glues. But I have a better feeling about this one. I scratched it up with the scalpel to help it sort of key to it a bit as well. Uh, so we'll see. And if not, I think this whole thing goes in the bin and I'll try again with some more magnets that I've got over there. I'll, I'll get I'll dig out the old shop that I got these from because if you leave them a nice review uh, they send you another pack for free and I don't have any qualms about leaving them a nice review because these magnets are just brilliant they're really strong and it's like a fiver for a pack of 20 or six pounds or something brilliant cannot complain proper neodymium solutions until next time well so far so good that's all dry and doesn't seem to be falling out. And uh, yep. Yeah. Right, and yeah, whichever way you turn it seems to work. If I turn it the other way, nothing happens. Gonna, I don't think it'll attract from uh, that far. Yeah, so you've got to use it the right way around. Uh, but I'm sure that'll work. Bit of a twist. Don't seem to be cracking too much. No, I think that's. I think the glue is actually stuck to this particular plastic. So everybody happy. And now I've got to do is cover it like in a. I don't know, bloody baby's sock or something to do the trick, wouldn't it? And then just slide it, slide it over that. Put it in the tank. I'll do that in a bit. Next video. So I had a thought about this, and no, it didn't hurt actually. I've got one of these old stretchy sock things that you put on if you've got a gammy knee when you're running. I don't use it anymore because it's, well, it's a load of crap. So I thought, oh, I could put that in. I don't use this anymore. Oh, it waggles about. It's bloody useless. Oh, hang on. If I put it that way, yeah, might be cooking on gas here. I'm going to do that, trim that to size. I'm going to stick one on that one as well because I don't... I don't think this will scratch up the glass, but this will clean the outside and the inside at the same time, so why not? Good plan, huh? Okay, the moment of truth. This may have been a slight open. No, it's good. It's all good now. <clears throat> One, does it stick? No, that magnet ain't quite strong enough. Perhaps I've got too many layers. Check one out. Mm, nearly. Maybe if I take one off here. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Hmm, okay. Promising. 
Does it clean now? I think this needs more magnets. Well, have we got a dirty bit? Have we got a dirty bit? Yeah, there's a dirty bit. It, uh, it works. I think it could do a sticking a bit more, but prognosis is good. On the on the mark two, I'll add some more magnets because that needs that needs a few more magnets, but not bad. I can live with that. All right, let's do the rest of the glass. Where have we got? Got any more? Any more cruddy bits? There's a bit there. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely needs some more magnets. Yeah, it's not quite strong enough. It does the job. It does clean. But <coughs> it's a bit weak. I guess this glass is thicker than I thought. Which is good. Nice thick glass. Love it. Well, this is all I've got. Hard drive magnet. A bit of cloth. I don't really need the cloth in the outside other than to stop the I'll start this again because I've got a fuck ton of jazz music playing. You don't want that. Hang on. You know what they say. Simplest idea is nearly always the best. Hard drive magnet. And there's another hard drive magnet in there. If you haven't got a hard drive magnet, I suggest you buy a hard drive and smash it to bits and get the magnet. And then you have to buy another one and smash that to bits and get the other magnet. Uh, but this... It's doing the bizzo just nice. A little bit juddery, but it doesn't fall off. And uh, I'll show you what I've done on this one in here. I had a problem with the magnet coming out of the cloth inside. But I've solved that with uh, putting a washer inside the old sock just to hold the cloth onto the cloth. So I fold it round, washer sticks the magnet, holds it all together nicely. Jobs are good and that saved me a tenner. <laughs>